Every note from his guitar is a story. 94 years worth of stories from the son of a Mississippi sharecropper who, guitar in hand, hit the road at age 17. Please come in. You make a little money on the streets, playing around on the streets, nickel and dime quarters. And uh, we saved that money to eat or we catch the freight train ride for nothing on the freight train. There were a lot of young men in the Depression era South hitching rides, hopping the rails, and playing the blues. They were the first of the Delta Bluesmen. Some became legends, names like Charlie Patton, Pine Top Perkins, and David Honey Boy Edwards. I remember once I was coming from Memphis, walking down 61 Highway, guitar on my shoulder, but I crossed through the picking cotton. I wasn't picking none. I'm trying to get to the town to play on the street and make some money. And you did it? Yeah. I hear one guy hollering, hey, man, you better put that guitar down. You're going to starve to death. I just keep it walking. The journey took him north to places like St. Louis and Chicago, which he would eventually call home, and where the music that once earned him nickels and dimes began to earn him fame. I've been all over the world. I've been in Japan. I've been in Finland. I've been in Denmark, I've been everywhere. A kid from Shaw, Mississippi. Yeah, from Shaw, Mississippi. His fingers and his mind are still nimble, just as they were in those juke joints in the Mississippi Delta years ago. Come on, baby, don't you wanna go? And he still enjoys picking out a tune with fellow musicians he meets along the way. Honey boy, hmm? you still got it. Yeah. <laughs> you understand me? Right. I kept doing what I'm doing. He also shares his passion for the blues with young people. You never know how things got turned out. Don't give up. It's kind of like a passing of the torch to give it to the next generation. Like musician Jared James Nichols. Without the blues, a lot of other music and art form will be lost. Honey Boy Edwards is among the last of the first generation of American bluesmen, still sharing the history. You know, Honey Boy, a lot of people think that these are hard times right now. What do you say to that? No, no. They ain't seen nothing yet. And sharing the music that helped shape a uniquely American art form. Yeah. 